Hey what's up guys, KSQRL here, finally it's time to taste the first preview of Android Q for Pocophone F1 and this is the first MEGSI build for Poco F1 ported from Pixel 3. Now let's take a look at Android Q running on Poco F1. Alright, the first and foremost Android Q is not a major update, it focuses primarily on performance, stability and better security. The current build which I have installed on my Pocophone F1 is based on Android Q Beta 5 which was extracted from Pixel 3 and guess what, at this build runs super smooth. Now let me show you guys the version which I'm running by going into the settings about phone and as you can see android version is 10.0 so if i tap on this version it still shows the same pi easter egg so which is sort of bummer and google haven't yet updated it and anyway the one of the major changes of android q is the system wide navigation gestures which you have already seen on miui and oxygen os now finally with android q google brings a navigation gestures which works system wide now these gestures are completely inspired from ios and if you don't believe me so let's check it out now normally to jump to the home screen we use a software keys right so but with the help of the navigation gestures to go to the home screen from an application it's very simple so simply you can do it just like this uh, to jump to the home screen, you simply a swipe up from the bottom center, just like that. As you can see, it's so cool to do it. And just look at the transition which you get while doing this kind of a gesture. It's so smooth. Now, to view the app switcher, and you can swipe up from the bottom center and holding for a second will take you to the app switcher. So it's just the same app switcher which they haven't changed much. Now when it comes to the back gesture and trust me this is what I wanted Google to implement it for so long and finally they made it so check it out. Imagine if you are inside any application, we normally use a back button, right? So, but with the navigation gestures on enabled on your device, it will make very, very easy to simply go back uh, with the gesture. So you can either swipe a left or right to move a one step back, just like that. And these gestures are super useful and speed up the whole user experience, which is sort of unprecedented. Now, when it comes to switching from one application to another application, Google made it very simple. You can either swipe left or right from the navigation bar or the home bar, more specifically, you can call it just like that and to quickly jump across your application. So these gestures are delivers a next level performance. I mean, just look at it, how cool is that? With Android Q, Google is also bringing a system-wide dark mode just like iOS 13. So to enable the dark theme, head over to settings, a display then toggle on the dark theme and that's it the applications which supports a dark theme will automatically adopt it as of now it won't work as intended even some of the Google applications are not working properly now other features of Android Q may include the improved screen on time dashboard which gives you more information about the usage of your applications so the bottom line of the video as of now Android Q is buggy and it cannot be used as a daily driver there are some features which are sort of broken outgoing phone calls won't work obviously it's not an actual build made for Pocophone F1 so when it comes to performance part I would say Poco F1 handles it very smooth the animations and transitions are super refined and handles it without any hiccups so that's it guys so this is the first preview of Android Q running on Poco F1 and I will keep updating about Android Q on this channel and if in case you like this video hit the thumbs up button down there and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and consider clicking on the bell button to get notified so thanks for watching this is your boy KSK Royal peace